Welcome to John Marshall High School's Exploring Woodworking Training Series. Whirlwind Cutoff Saw. The Whirlwind Cutoff Saw is an air activated saw used to cross cut lumber to a desired length. It has a long in feed and out feed bed, allowing long boards to be fully supported. An adjustable air activated sensor determines if the guard height is adjusted correctly for the thickness of the wood being cut. The blade remains retracted into the saw body until activated to the cut position. The air activation switch allows air pressure to be used to control the saw action. The foot pedal moves the spinning blade out of the retracted position upward to cut the board. The on-off switch controls the electrical power to the saw. The fence and rollers on the in-feed and out-feed table allow materials to be positioned for proper cuts. Safety Procedures When using this or any stationary woodworking equipment, always wear eye protection, Remove loose clothing, such as ties, and remove rings and other jewelry. Read and understand safety and operating procedures given to you before use. Pay close attention to this video and the in-class demonstration to learn important safety information. If you have questions, ask. Do not use this or any piece of equipment if you are fatigued or if you are taking any type of alertness altering medication or if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Guards and other safety devices must be used at all times. Keep your hands out of the path of the saw blade. Never put your hands under the yellow guard clamp or sensor. Always use a blowgun or push stick to clear away chips and sawdust. Avoiding awkward positions and hand operations will minimize sudden slips that could cause your hand to move into the blade area. Do not work with materials that are too small or too large to handle safely. Do not stack materials to cut. Cut single layers only. Make all adjustments with the power off and locked. Students should not make repairs or maintenance without the consent of the instructor. Never attempt to free a stalled blade without first turning the saw off. If a blade stalls, stop the saw and check with the instructor. Shut off all power sources, air and electrical, and regularly clean the machine. Before using the saw, check for damaged parts. Report any problems to your instructor. When you have cut your board, turn off the air and power switches to the machine. Let the blade come to a complete stop before walking away. Now that you have viewed the cutoff saw safety procedures and are familiar with general shop safety, you are ready for the operating instructions for the cutoff saw. Set the stop on the outfeed table to the desired length of the material to be cut. Note, this stop is not 100% accurate. Please notice that the stop is set to one location on the ruler, but your stock butt will rest against a different location, as demonstrated in this slide. Be sure that the stock is pushed firmly up to the back rest and the black stop not the silver clamp that secures the actual stop. Only cut one piece of lumber at a time.
Lumber must be fed into the saw from the right of the in-feed side of the saw. Please note that the table has a recessed area near the blade. When feeding the lumber under the guard, your hand should be under the lumber with palms up. This will help keep your hands from going under the clamp guard sensor. There is never a reason to stick your hands or fingers under the clamp guard sensor. Putting your hands here will result in serious injury. The air cutoff valve is located on top of the saw. It is the one with the black switch. To adjust the clamp guard sensor to the thickness of your lumber, turn this switch to the off position. The other knob on the top of the saw is the height adjustment knob. This knob is located just behind the guard clamp and wood. Take notice of the caution label attached to the top of this knob. This knob must be adjusted in height so that the sensor clears the lumber by approximately one quarter of an inch. Turn the knob clockwise to lower the clamp guard sensor and counterclockwise to raise it. Here you see the sensor is about one-fourth of an inch above the wood. Again, turn the knob clockwise to lower the clamp guard sensor and counterclockwise to raise it. Now that the sensor has been properly adjusted, turn the air supply to the on position. This will snap the clamp guard sensor to the up position. Position your lumber to the preset location on the stop on the outfeed table and snug against the back fence. You are now ready to cut your lumber. Using the large start stop switch, press the green start button. You should hear the blade start spinning. The last control used to actually cut the wood is the air activated foot pedal located in a recess at the base of the saw. When activated by pressing down with your foot, the clamp guard will come down onto the lumber with the sensor about one fourth of an inch above the lumber. After the clamp comes down, the spinning saw blade will come up, cutting the lumber. If the spinning blade does not come up, the sensor is not adjusted properly. As soon as you release the foot pedal, the saw blade will retract. After the cut is complete, push the red stop button and wait for the blade to come to a complete stop. Congratulations, you are now ready to take the whirlwind cutoff saw online safety.